In this video, you will learn how to create a speedometer gauge with two needles. Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Excel Help Now. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create the speedometer gauge that has two separate needles that are independent of each other. So you can update progress to two separate goals on the same speedometer chart. So I have a separate video already in the description to create the speedometer gauge that gets us to this spot where we have the standard one needle and three charts combined into one. So if you wanna learn how to make a speedometer gauge, that video is there for you. But this video specifically is just going to be adding a second needle onto our existing speedometer gauge chart. So in order to do that, we will add a row up top just to have two separate progress sections. And we can just rename this first one progress number one, and then we'll add a progress number two. Give that a separate value just so it stands out. We can rename our pointer value section down below as pointer value number one. And then just copy this entire table into a new area. And we can rename this pointer value number two. And we just need to update this formula. It's still referencing the D4 row. Let's update that to D5. Let's grab that last cell reference there. Okay, so. Now we see the 75 coming through. So we have the data we need. So let's select our chart area. And make sure you grab the actual chart box. And we'll go chart design, select data, and we're gonna add a second series here. We can call this pointer number two. And then series value, grab the pointer to the thickness and the rest value from our pointer value number two dialog box. Click okay and okay, and okay. Okay. And then we're going to go to chart design and then we're going to go to change chart type. So if you scroll down here, you can see we have two separate pies and they're both on the secondary axis. What we're actually going to do is we're going to remove the secondary axis for the original needle pointer and then click OK. Selecting just the small needle pointer here. Just make sure that's selected. Double click just so it just highlights that small needle. Do control one to bring up our dialog box and increase that point explosion to 5%. Go to the fill option. We can change that fill so it's not the same as our other one. Make it like a dark purple so it really stands out. Knock the width down to, to 0.5. And then select our, our blue area. We'll make that a no fill. And then select our gray area and make that a no fill. All right, so right now we have our secondary pointer in. However, since we've reoriented our original pointer to the primary axis, it is now uh, not showing what we want it to do. So just select that pointer. And then we are going to actually make this solid line transparency 100. Tab over to lock that in. And then let's get rid of the width there. And then go to our uh, series options, angle of first slice, you can see our 270 degree went away. So type that back in, pivot that over, and we ha now have it. So that all looks good. Select the chart area again and go to our fill options and make this 100%. Because if you notice, there was a line going through the pointer because it was showing the border of the outer donut. So once we do that, it looks nice and clean. Let's get rid of that text box since it's just for one. So there you go. That is a finished speedometer gauge with two separate needles in it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I have a lot more Excel related tips and tricks available. Also, if you don't want to go through the steps of either creating the original speedometer gauge or the speedometer gauge with the second needle, I have a link in the description to this exact model speedometer gauge with both a single and double needle that's available for purchase on my Etsy page. So if that interests you, check out the link in the description and it's available for purchase on Etsy. Otherwise, thank you and God bless.